Hi, today I will talk about the sang 4 im version 11.0 of the bridge mode configuration. A bridge interface is connected to switch filtering traffic and mostly will not affect the existing network. It is recommended for those user hopes nothing changed in their network. Next, we will configure the bridge mode deployment according to this topology, where the IAM deploy in between the call switch and router with the bridge interface of ETH0 and ETH2 along with the IP address of 192.168.100.100-24 of VLAN 10 and 192.168.20.100-24 of VLAN 20. The default gateway will be 192.168.100.254. The preferred DNS will be 8.8.8.8 and the alternate DNS is 8.8.4.4. First, we will need to access the IAM web UI. After accessing the IAM web UI, we will need to configure the deployment mode that is fall under the network panel of appliance management. Now navigate to the network, go to a deployment. Under the deployment tab, click setting. In our case here, we will be selecting the bridge mode deployment. Click next. Under the bridge interface, first delete the default interface. Next, we will need to choose for the available LAN interface and also the available WAN interface. In our case, we will be choosing ETH0 and ETH2 for the LAN and WAN interface. Click Add. For the bridge state propagation, we will leave it as default. Click Next. For the bridge interface, we will enable the IPv4 option and assign a VLAN and IP address for the bridge interface. In our case, will be VLAN 10 slash 192.168.100.100 slash 24 and also VLAN 20 slash 192.168.20.100 slash 24. IPv6 stay the default setting. Click Next. For the management interface, because it is not mandatory, we will configure only if it is required. If not, we will just click Next and proceed to the next step. However, client can also configure the management interface if it is required. In our case, we will just leave it all as default setting. Click Next. Lastly, we need to configure the default gateway, whereby the default gateway will be 192.168.100.254, and the preferred DNS will be 8.8.8.8, .8 alternate DNS is 8.8.4.4. For the IPv6, we will need to uncheck it, since our case, we don't need to configure the IPv6. However, if the client got the IPv6 address for the default gateway, they can configure it. For the bypass firewall rule, we will leave it as the default setting. Click Next. Now we can see that the management interface will leave it as the default setting. For the default gateway, it will be 192.168.100.254, and for the preferred DNS and alternate DNS, will be 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. For the bridge interface will be ETH0 and ETH2 with the given IP address. Next, we will click the commit button and click yes to finish configuring for this deployment. Click OK for the IM to restart and finish configuring the bridge mode deployment. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.